All right, let's get right into it. Today, I'm going to show you how to load your Abbott Webden Pro application into the portal. So last tutorial, we created a role, but it had no content. So it was just an empty page. So today, we're going to have it. When you select the role, you'll actually load the, the Webden Pro application you see in, here in front of you. So I just created a simple application. If you've never created an Abbott Webden Pro application, you can check out uh, my other tutorial. Uh, but this one's quite simple. It just has a little text view and icon. To be honest with you, I wasted about 10 minutes searching for this a specific icon. Uh, pretty lame, but I, t I chose the little torch uh, to celebrate the Olympics that were not too long ago. So we'll quick test this application, go to WP Demo Test, and you'll see my view and my image. All right, perfect. So close that. Um, the important thing when you're going to create a uh, Webden Pro ABAP type iView is you need to know the component name of your application. So I double clicked on my application here, and you will see my component is ZWP Demo. So I'm going to copy that because I'm going to need it a little bit later. But that's all we'll need from the Webden Pro side. Now we have to go, jump into content administration. If you remember last time, we created a folder and we created a role. This time we're going to right click on the WP demo folder I created next time and create a new iView. Once, once the iView assistant pops up, then we'll select Webden Pro ABAP because we're going to create a, an iView type of Webden Pro ABAP. You can also choose a Java if you use a Java application, and they also have a suite of uh, templates like you can do a SAP transaction iView, BSP iView, but uh, we'll typically be working with Pro for ABAPs. So we'll click Next, and then we're going to create our iView name, and we'll just call it uh, Demo WDA and Demo WDA. Click next, and for the system, we're going to choose the human resources system because that's the SAP system I'm using. And then we'll go plain HTML, we'll leave the default application name. We have to paste the component that we copied from SAP, so we'll paste that here. And the namespace is typically uh, SAP. So we'll click next and finish. So you'll see our new iView. So I'll right click in preview to give it a test. All right, so it worked. So now that it works, we can try embedding that into our role. So if you right click on the iView, you're gonna see I'm, I have about seven options here. But let's double click our WP user role. And now that that object is selected, I can right click on WP DA, the iView, and I have a new option, add iView to role. I have two options within the add iView to role option. There's a delta link and a copy. A copy creates a totally separate instance. So any changes you make once you copy it into the role will be unique to the original parent. If I use a delta link, uh, all changes made to the parent will also be uh, pushed to this instance. As soon as you make a change to this new instance, you, you're totally breaking the delta link. But we're just gonna do a simple, easy copy, because I don't think feel like I'll be reusing this uh, application a lot. And all right, so it's added into the role. We can now close it, and let's give it a test. So before we had the blank slate with the WP admin, WP user role, now we're gonna open it up. Hey, and there we go, our application's embedded. You can see I have a little spacing on top. If that was intentional. I put a transparent container. If you double click on the view here, back in uh, SE80, I put a little transparent container to create some spacing so it doesn't look like it's uh, pushed to the top. Uh, but you can play around with that some more. So there we have it our first WebDIN Pro for ABUP embedded in the SAP portal. Good job. Hi, thanks a lot for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of my future videos. Also, if any of these tutorials have helped you out in one of your projects, please consider a small donation. Until next time, cheers.